Good morning and welcome back to the theater. It is Saturday and um, over the last couple of days I've been doing a lot of vlog editing because as we know, I mean by this point you'll definitely know, as we know, <laughs> I have been neglecting editing vlogs for almost an entire month because I just, I was tired and I was going through it. So while I kept editing or while I kept recording, I didn't edit. And one thing I've noticed going through so many vlogs in quick succession is one, probably the main reason, definitely the main reason that I stopped editing was I have just been so tired lately, just so exhausted. And I'm really working to change that. And also I'm gonna like, just try to stop talking about it. If I'm like dying because I'm so tired, I'm just gonna, just gonna try to ignore it. <laughs> because editing so many vlogs in a row where I was so tired, just really, I was like, okay, yes, we know you're tired. <laughs> um, but I was so excited Thursday night because I was sleepy, probably still like some lingering effects of my body building some immune system. And um, I went to sleep at like nine. I think a little bit after nine, I fell asleep. I'm like, this is amazing. I got like nine hours of sleep on a work night. It was phenomenal. I felt great. And I'm like, you know what? We're gonna do it again last night. So I went to bed at like 10.30, so it was a little bit later. And I was like, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna get like seven hours of sleep on a work night. And um, then I couldn't get to sleep. And I was like, body and brain, why? But anyway, so we're gonna try to focus on more sleep. One. Two, editing vlogs. Like I know I have gained weight since um, COVID started. Like. I have probably gained about 50 pounds in the last year, which is not healthy and not great. But one, I eat when I'm stressed and poorly. And two, I've been very sedentary for like the last year and a bit. So looking at like some of the vlog footage and I'm just like, like I know I've gained weight <laughs> and like I can look in the mirror and I see it, but in my brain, there's a disconnect between what I think I look like and what I actually look like. But you know, it doesn't lie, the camera. And I've known for a while because I've like been trying to like edit around like, ugh. Um, so that's also a focus. And I feel like if I start to get that under control, the sleep will get better. So basically we are making changes. We're gonna try to make changes, cannot guarantee they will <laughs> change overnight, but just gonna try to generally be healthier and sleep better. So that's the plan, anyways. It's not gonna start like in this immediate moment because I do have to work. <laughs> but I mean, I guess it could. I could walk faster at work today or something. <sighs> uh, I don't know, but we shall see. That's that's the goal. And I, I know going to blind channels should help with both of those things as well because one, you work like 60 plus days in a row, eight hour days. It's kind of hard to not be on your feet and be active and <laughs> hopefully, and two, you work 60 plus days in a row, eight hours a day on your feet, it's kind of hard not to be tired and like ready to sleep at the same time every night because you have a routine. But yeah, I've been rambling, but that's where we're at. And I think um, I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink to start my day and then work. And my friend is back from Blind Channel now. He got back, not yesterday, but the day before. So we might do something today. It's kind of sunny right now. So that's nice. I didn't bring my sunglasses though because my brain this morning, oh my God. I checked the weather, I'm like sunny and eight degrees. Eight degrees means it's not sunny. <laughs> and then I also like, I have a pretty good routine in the morning. So it's like, okay, hey, get dressed, put on deodorant, pack bag. So I got dressed and I'm packing my bag. I'm like, okay, I don't think I put, I, I didn't put on deodorant. So I like look over to where my deodorant is and it's like open and I'm like, did I put that on? I had brain is not doing the best today, but it's gonna wake up. I'm sure it's gonna wake up and we are just gonna have a fantastic day and I will catch up with you as I can. You know, I feel like I've never had allergies as bad as I've had them this year. And it's just like, not the level. <laughs> it's like, are those lights not gonna turn on? Um, but just like the, constant persistence of it. They just never go away. It's just, ugh. Anyway, I thought it would be funny to show this. So the other day I came in and our coffee machine was on. 
I don't know if it's gonna focus on that. Anyways, it was on. I noticed it was on because this great green light is on. And so I came over to turn it off because, you know, save some energy. And I hit brew instead, and oh my god, the mess I made. And so today, I saw that it was on. And I was like, whatever you do, do not make the same mistake again. Because, yeah, it was not fun to clean up. But it is currently 11 o'clock, just hit 11. And um, almost done for the day, just an hour left. And then my friend is going to pick me up. And I don't know what we're going to do. But um, something? We're going to do something. But... Um, in like it's so crazy because like yesterday when I left the stage was set up and there was just equipment everywhere and now today it's as if nothing happened like they're so quick at breaking things down which like yeah is normal in like normal times obviously but like honestly I don't know when our next show is and so like you know they just got it done let's see when is the next show uh, it doesn't tell me <laughs> I like the nice thing is that I can subscribe to this ICS file and it tells me what shifts I have which is great like it just auto updates which is fantastic especially now considering I don't even have my schedule for <laughs> um June and it's like the 29th today I think so it's 29th it's 29th today I don't have my schedule for next month per se like it's, it's in the ICS file, which is nice, but I don't have a physical copy, which I like to have just so I can reference it. But um, usually, like, I really like it when they tell me when it says, like, what show and everything, but half the time it just says, here's your shift. So, anyways, um, I'm, I'm just <laughs> procrastinating on finishing the work I have to do. Uh, so I'm going to go now because I still have a decent amount to do and I only have an hour left. Um, and like I said, my friend's grabbing me, so I should be, try to be ready for noon when he's going to be here. So, um, yeah. It's like I've forgotten how to vlog because I just, uh, forgot to take the lens cap off. And I was like, why is the screen completely black? Anyways, it is, wow, it is 4.30. So I got home at like 4, 10 to 4-ish. And then I was just so warm because it was so hot outside that I just like stripped and laid on my bed <laughs> until I finally decided to get dressed again. My friend picked me up. <laughs> and we ended up going for lunch, which which was a nice treat because with his health things that he's been going through, he cannot do sodium like at all. And so it's hard to find restaurants that we can go to that won't have a lot of so sodium in the food. And so like places that make everything from scratch a lot easier. So we went for lunch and then we went to check out to see how busy Frisbee golf was going to be because it's a Saturday and it's a nice day and it was super busy, but um, we managed to get through all all 18 holes, except we skipped um, two holes. There, there's technically 19 holes on this course and we skipped two holes um, just so we could get ahead of this family of like seven people. Um, so, you know, it's fine. I ended up with, I think, plus 13 plus 13, which is technically my best score, but also considering we skipped two holes. I was doing pretty good though. I got a fair number of pars and it was just this one hole that completely destroyed me. I was like, wow, if I keep going at this rate, like I could do pretty decent. And then I like plus two on that one and it was bad. Anyways, so I am home now and I think, I'm so confused because it's Saturday and I worked. It's just throwing me off. Um, I think, I'm probably gonna focus a little bit more on vlogs again. I, I got my hair in a ponytail and it makes me look super bald. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna focus more on uh, vlogs and thumbnails and all that. I think, let me check. Do, do, do. One, two, three, four, five. So I think I've uploaded four or five vlogs. I actually have, almost have everything exported. That's pretty exciting. I have until the 20th exported. So I'm still like, okay, I'm like a week behind, but it's only like one, two, three vlogs, which is pretty exciting. So I'm gonna work on that. Um, gonna try to drink some water instead of pop, I'm trying to make positive life changes and um, probably deal with that later. It's just, 
It's just me being lazy because honestly, my hamper is empty and those are like all dirty clothes. And then if all of that goes well, then we will switch to sewing. And I actually got an email back from my one boss in Blind Channel because I had reached out to her like, what of my stuff do you think I should bring that will sell in the store? And so she passed it on to one of my other bosses and they were like, that's all cute, you can bring it all. So I was like, okay. So I emailed her back. And then hilariously, while my friend and I were driving, he's my friend who works with me at Blind Channel, we like see the Blind Channel truck because they're in town. So yeah, anyways. I don't know, I'm just rambling. I feel like I've been rambling all day today, so I'm gonna go try to get some work done and um, see see how productive we can be. We'll, we'll see what the levels remain at. <laughs> Well, I didn't quite accomplish everything I was hoping to accomplish. Editing that vlog took me way longer than it should have, and I don't know if it was just because I wasn't in the mind space to do it, or if it was just a struggle. No, there were definitely some struggles, like footage was moving and changing, and yeah, it was getting frustrating. I hadn't done some audio. <laughs> um, so probably a little bit column A, a little bit column B. I did get a little too much sun today. Um, I'm a little burnt, but not too bad, and I have a little bit of a headache, uh, so I've been trying to drink more water, but I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been doing great at it. I had hoped to finish everything that I had prepped to sew, but I did not. I still have um, two of these handkerchiefs, so I have this one and the mouse one, and then um, my brain, it, it's failing a little bit. And then I have two sets of wristlets remaining, uh, one is pinned and not sewn at all and then the other one is the one that I had to stop because I ran out of the thread. I have the thread now so we should be able to get that done pretty quickly tomorrow because I uh looks like there's a fair number like maybe 10 or 12 of those um but it shouldn't take me too long so that is nice and then I think what I'm gonna do going forward for at least a little bit is I'm gonna switch soul focus to the bandanas because I only have like 20 of them and of those 23 are gifts. So I really only have 17 that I can sell in the store. So I wanna to try to get that quantity up. So maybe focus on that for the next week or so. And then I would love to also transition to lanyards. The problem with lanyards, which I talked about before, is you need like three feet worth of fabric to make them. So they're like, there's a lot of fabric. So I don't think I have a ton of fabric that would actually meet that requirement so we'll have to take a look um maybe what i'll do is spend this week doing bandanas and then maybe go to the fabric store next week and just get a couple different lengths of fabric and just be like this is going to be dedicated to lanyards and then maybe spend like a week working on those i don't know because i'm in my head i'm like okay i probably have about it's what's today it's may 29th so I basically am giving myself like two weeks to try to sew as much stuff as I can. So let's actually look at a calendar. So by like June 13th-ish, I would want to have everything finished being sewn. And then I can spend a little bit of time designing tags because I only have tags for the scrunchies. I don't have tags for everything else. So I have to make those and print those. And yeah, but for now I'm going to go to sleep and hopefully I can get to sleep quickly because, you know, it's only 20 to 10. So fingers crossed I get to sleep early and then I can wake up early and we will resolve this sleeping situation. <laughs> Good night. I set an alarm this morning <laughs> and then I turned it off and just went back to sleep and I woke up just after 10 and 
I was so comfortable, I didn't want to move, so I watched a YouTube video and um, finally started puttering about and now it's like 10 to 11, but honestly, I woke up and every single part of my body was just like, mm, this is so nice, and um, I really, like I said, I, I, I didn't even want to roll over to get my phone, like that's how comfortable I was. Anyways, I'm going to get dressed now. It's sunny outside, but also raining apparently. <laughs> Like, my window opens like this, and it's just soaking wet. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get dressed, probably either make something or just have a quick breakfast drink. And then I think I'm going to try to get back into sewing. I want to get the sewing knocked off, like, right away so that I can put my sewing machine away for, like, the first time in a week or so. And then if I want to cut um, fabric later, I certainly can, but I don't think I'll sew anymore today. We'll see, though. Also, see, I got a little bit too much sun yesterday. Oops. Uh, but yeah, that is the current plan is dressed, sustenance, sewing. Hmm. Can I make that the three S's? No. <laughs> I mean, who would have thought that getting dressed would be such a challenge this morning? Put my pants on backwards. <laughs> Went to put my slippers on on the wrong feet. Changed my mind on my shirt, so grabbed another shirt. And I was like, no, don't you put this on backwards. I'm like, yeah, this is definitely right. I didn't put it on backwards. I was putting it on backwards. Oh, that's an indicator of how this day is going to go. <laughs> we in trouble. So it's just 10 after 11 now. I opted for the breakfast drink because I just like, I don't feel like cooking anything. And I have these dudes here to sew uh, because I finished the handkerchiefs in the same color. And so I left the thread in last night so I didn't have to re- do, 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 do. thread it. I just realized that I used the word so, three different words so, in a very short period of time. Oh, the English language is so weird. Anyway, I'm gonna put something on, probably breakfast drink a little bit first, and then get into the main event of the next hour or so. Ah, oh, I was trying to avoid using the word so. Ugh. You want it forever Trying to play a game But you don't play for keeps Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah Kinda love you, wanna build your dreams on, yeah But I already know better I'm a go-getter and I got me I'm good I'm head over shoes on hardwood For me, you know I wrote the book I'm moving along from somebody wrong now. So go ahead Tell me all the ways you miss it Alrighty, I finished everything that I had cut, which is amazing. I just have to iron these guys um, whenever I pull out my iron next, but they are done. Very exciting. And then I'll just throw them with those ones. <laughs> and then this is my pile of wristlets and a couple lanyards. I definitely have over 100 wristlets at this point, I am sure, because I am on my third bag of 50 <laughs> for the little clippy things. But yeah. Very exciting to have those done. Sewing machine is not a way. <laughs> I, like, I took the thread off of it and then I put all the thread away and in my brain that was putting the sewing machine away. And so shockingly, it's still there. So I'm gonna put that away now and then maybe make myself a quick snack because I had that breakfast drink, which is great, but my tummy is like, can you put like something solid in me? And I'm like, okay, I can do that. <laughs> can you tell what I've been doing based on all these like <laughs> fluffs on me? <laughs> I've been cutting terry cloth, which if you've been around for a while, you know is like the worst at shedding. <laughs> so this afternoon I've been very busy. It's 7.20, so I'm gonna switch focus to invoicing here in a second, but I've been super busy cutting things and prepping them to get ready to sew. I have all this terry cloth, which is I think like 95 pieces. And then I've got these squares and these squares and these squares. <laughs> And these squares to make a bunch of reusable cotton pads uh, to bring out to the store. I'm like just insanely making things. And then over here, I cut a bunch of different lanyards. So I've got this one, that one, that one, and these rocket ships. And then I, I don't know how many handkerchiefs or bandanas, but we got a lot. So 
lots to sew. And, and then like I have this pile here of stuff to still cut. So yeah, lots to sew. I'll probably, I don't think I'll do any sewing today. My thought would be after invoicing that I will just continue to cut things. Um, more bandanas probably and lanyards perhaps. I don't know, like the thing about the lanyards like I mentioned before, is they take up a lot of fabric. So if I don't have like a full meter or close to, I can't do them. So that's what we've been doing. And then I've just been making squares with things that either aren't going to work for lanyards or that I just really want um, some reusable cotton pads myself. The mushroom ones. I, <laughs> there's enough, I think, for three and a bit set, so I'm going to keep some to myself. <laughs> huh. Anyways, that's what I've been up to. There's fluff all over the screen too. Oh, and by screen I mean lens and um, I'm just watching The Rookie. Um, don't love it because they just seem to be getting in too many aggressive police situations. <laughs> um, it's all right. I'll keep watching it while I'm sewing and doing other things but I don't think I would watch it again or anything so yeah that's where we're at. I'm covered in fluff. I've had dinner, steak and baked potato. Mm -hmm delicious and now like I said I'm gonna switch focus to invoicing and then it I think probably my goal I think this what day is it is it Sunday I think it's Sunday 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 it's Sunday uh, <laughs> um, yeah like I mentioned last night this week and next week are gonna be my hard pushes on making things <laughs> uh, so oh you know what I might have to more mortar I might have to mortar I might have to order more of those clippy things because I've cut quite a few of those lanyards and I'll probably do some more wristlets once I catch up okay I need to just I'm, I'm thinking out loud because <laughs> like it's great because like look at all the fabric I've been using like that used to be crammed to the top that used to be crammed to the top so we are making moves but also this bin here it's it's not full full because that's for a different project but there's a lot in it <laughs> basically I'm just wondering if I need to go to the fabric store <laughs> but I'm gonna go for now and get some more work done and then um, switch switch back into the, to whatever that is. The cutting of the fabrics. Wow, my brain just not doing the best at the moment. Alrighty, so I did an obscene amount of cutting things. I have so much work to do and I think like I said I'm probably gonna spend tomorrow cutting fabric as well and not sewing. So I'll show you where we're at. So this is my lovely pile of completed lanyards and all those wristlets. There are so many. There's over a hundred, I'm sure. <laughs> and then this box has some of my cotton or terry cloth that I cut. Um, I have the rest elsewhere. It's just such a pain to store. And then a bunch of the cotton pads, a bunch of lanyards, a bunch of dog bandanas as well, and then somewhere underneath more wristlets, even though I said I wasn't going to make any more. <laughs> and then underneath are my completed dog bandanas, or I guess pet bandanas. And then up there I have more stuff to cut. Honestly though, I am really loving it. I'm not looking forward to like all the ironing and sewing and stuff, but I think giving myself two weeks to just make as much as I can is, was really a good call. So that's just what we're gonna do. So I'll dedicate after work tomorrow to doing a lot more cutting of things. I'm actually surprised I was able to make as many lanyards as I've been able to. I actually had a couple meters of fabric that I had only cut like say a mask out of or something. So yeah, that's really, that's really exciting, but it's, I think, 10.30 now, so I'm going to try to wind down for the night. I'm trying to be good, trying to go to sleep at a reasonable time. I did manage to get to sleep at, like, 12.30 last night, which is late, but it's early for me. So I'm going to go now, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye.